This morning, we're taking an in-depth look at a story that has a lot of folks talking with two astronauts up at the International Space Station months longer than planned. Yeah, what started off as just an eight-day mission has added another eight weeks, and it could potentially turn into eight months. So why the delay, and how are those astronauts doing up there? Let's turn to former astronaut Mike Massimino, author of the book Moonshot, a NASA astronaut's guide to achieving the impossible. Mike, good morning. We've heard of business trips that like go a couple days too long. This yeah. definitely takes the cake as things go. Yeah. So they've been there way too long at this point, about eight weeks too long now. They're supposed to be there for only eight weeks, I should say. How did they get them home from this? How did this all come to be? Well, it was initially eight days, actually. Is what eight days, excuse me, yes. They've been up there for, for two months. When they were approaching the space station, they had some failures with their propulsion system, particularly from thrusters, which were needed to steer precisely. Yeah. Uh, they still had enough left over, and they were able to recover most of those in the last couple months. But they're still trying to understand the problem and get comfortable with it because they don't want those failures once they leave and try to re-enter. So right. that's what they're looking at. And they haven't gotten comfortable yet, so they've kept the crew on board with the propulsion module, which disappears on entry, by the way. This is their only time to study it, and so that's why they've yeah. delayed them up there. Mike, I know you. You're a little jealous, first of all, right? A little bit. <laughs> a little yeah. bit. You kind of like to be yeah. up there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, when you're an astronaut and you're on the ground, you want to be in space. Yeah. Know? And yeah. when you're in space, sometimes you want to be on the ground. So. What about food, clothing? Is there enough room for them up there for such a long period of time? Yeah, these are great questions. Yeah, they got plenty of stuff up there, and they actually build these contingencies into the planning. So just in case, you know, things can happen, even with... Uh, spaceships that have been flown for years. You know, sometimes they had a Frank Rubio was an astro is an astronaut who was stuck in space for 307. I shouldn't say stuck. He was the mission was delayed from six months to over a year. He was up there for 370 days. So there's plenty of supplies. There's also supply ships that go up there regularly, so they can bring clothing and food and water and all that. Can I stuff. So they're good. SpaceX or Starliner, if you had those as your two options right now in terms of getting home, which would you take? I would uh, leave it to the bosses to decide. You know, this is like, you, you don't want to get into making sure, really, because you never know. You know, like, what you, and I think that's probably what Butch and Sonny are, are thinking. I think in their case, though, they've been working with the Starliner team. They, they've been, they want it to be successful. They're test pilots. So they're hoping that that vehicle would get cleared. And I think that's the way I would think about it. What about just psychologically? How are you supposed to deal with the uncertainty? You've been in their shoes, not perhaps as long no, as them, yeah. but Couple how days. do you just, how do you deal with not knowing? What if this is years? No, it's not going to be years. They are coming, they're coming back one way or the other. The okay. spaceship itself, and the reason they are really kind of in a position where they have to make a decision is that there's only two docking ports right now. There's ah. a SpaceX ship and the Starliner. So they, Starliner's going to get out of the way because they're bringing another crew up in September. So uh, th that, that has to, that has there to happen. There is an end point. Okay. There is an end point. Okay. So the way you deal with it, I think, is being flexible. Uh, and this is, you know this could happen. When you go into a mission, first of all, getting off the ground, they've had plenty of delays. This crew's been delayed for years getting there. And you just know that you know you're going to space once the rockets light. That's when you know you're actually going. So when do they make that decision then? To come back? Yeah. They're, they're going to have some meetings coming up. They had a press conference this last week to give us the plan. So they have some meetings next week. They're going to have a flight readiness review. But the decision has to be made probably the week after this coming week. So within the next two weeks, we should know what the plan That's is. Right. But, but mentally, you want to, it's not just preparing for the mission. It's also your family on the ground. Yeah. And people are expecting you to come home, and you've got that heart tug maybe going on. Dear but diary. But you, you do your job. Dear yeah. diary, here we yeah. are, stuck in space days. Who knows how long. I wouldn't say stuck. Stuck. Yeah, I would fine. say delayed. Delayed. Yeah, delayed. delayed. Yeah. My apologies. You bet. We appreciate it. You bet. Thanks for having me. To have you with us. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.